Okay, so it's um, Wednesday the 19th of March, it's 5 past 5 and uh, I'm just going to try and explain some of the frustrations that the, the local traders um, are having with the, the road closure and the, the subsequent uh, signage that's on the, the roads. Here we are just coming up to, to Lambert Cross now, the, on the sat nav, the people coming from outside the area, say Cumbernauld, Bonnie Bridge, Denny, that kind of way will be coming in here and right away they're met with signs saying road ahead closed. Well, as far as we are concerned, the, the road isn't closed. The, the, rail, the, the railway bridge is closed, but the road ahead is closed. So all of a sudden, there's no signage here to say diversion or how to tell people how to get past the, the road ahead closed. So we would like to see that sign removed and say road closed at railway bridge with a subsequent diversion in place to show people where to, to, to get to it because that's obviously totally misleading um, people who are not familiar with the, the area. Um, so hopefully the, the traffic lights are going to change uh, fairly quickly and we can get across here and start to show you some of the, the other frustrations that we, we have um, with the, the, the diversions that have been put in place. So with my business being on the, the east side of the, the bridge, um, if I'm an outsider to the area, um, my sat is still bringing me in this way. Um, up until now I've no real knowledge that there's anything apart from road ahead closed. Um, so we come to these signs here and after all the businesses, um, we now have this sign saying business open as usual, which is placed after all the businesses have been created. That should surely be right at, at the start of the um, the, the main street as people come into it. Now, here we go here, road ahead closed. No diversion signs to tell us what's going on. We've got a sign on the left here that says pedestrians to cross the road. So that, that was pointing across the right hand side. And on the, the right hand side, we've got a sign that says footway closed ahead. And now we've got footpath closed. No signage to say that, that the road is either, the path is actually open as you can see down here. So a lot of pedestrians think that they can't get across the bridge as well due to confusing signage. So here we go, we're on to now the, 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 the supposed diversion and um, we've not had any signs, we've not had any signs on the bridge saying that the, the businesses on the other side of the bridge are open or how to actually get to them. So we're driving up Foundry Lawn uh, and remind, remember we're kind of role playing here, I'm not familiar with the area, I'm thinking where am I going? It's uh, all I know is I'm trying to find technology repair centre, the road's closed, there's nothing at all to tell me what's happening. Now, I'm all, I don't know that there's a, a railway bridge up here. As a, as a local, I obviously do, and I can find my way around about it. But if I'm not familiar with the area, all I've seen is that the road bridge is closed, and there's no signs. You know, we're now halfway up Foundry Lawn, there's no signs at all reassuring us that we're heading in the right direction for the diversion. Now three quarters of the way up Foundry Lawn, still no signs. And this is us now approaching the next junction and there still isn't a sign telling us what's happening with getting to the other side of the railway bridge. Now this is one of the, the huge frustrations that I have at the moment. Bear in mind my business is in Main Street Larbert. If you have a look at this sign here, it's telling me that if I want to go to Larbert, I have to go left. So if I don't know the area, I'm just going to go back round. Now, because I do know the area, I'm going to take a, a right, because that's me heading down to my business, which is still in Larbert, but that sign back there is telling me that I need to go left to go to Larbert. So it's taking people away totally in the wrong direction. Again, we're coming to another junction, no signs up to say take this take this uh, turn in here. And now we're 
coming up to the junction where I want to I want people to have notification that to get to my business they need to turn down to the, the right. And if they don't turn, turn, turn down here, my business and the whole of the east side of Main Street Lava is bypassed basically. But the sign as you will see is telling people to go straight through the roundabout. So let's just follow the diversion anyway, just to emphasise the, the issue why people are getting lost and they can't find us. So we come to another junction here, even though we've been told to go straight through, there's no final sign telling us what we need to do there. So I'm just following the signs that have been laid out by the diversion. This is the one, the next really confusing one. They've bypassed the first chance to come down to me. There's still an opportunity that they could actually come down to the right here and then double back on themselves. But the diversion, once again, is telling people to go straight on to that roundabout, which is going to not just bypass Larbert, but it's also going to bypass Stennis Muir. So we're just going to burrow around this roundabout here. Again, nothing to tell us that they can get to Larbert down this way, even though apparently this is the the preferred route for coming into Larbert. So again, as somebody who is not local to the area, I'm looking for reassurances that I'm heading in the right direction. There's not any signage at all on this road to tell us what to do. So here I am, coming to the, the junction. Official diversion. And here I am at a T-junction. No signs telling me what that I need to do. So now I'm completely lost, and I say, I'm guessing this is why a lot of people are just giving up. They can't find us. There's no signs telling people what to do anywhere. So because I know the area, I'm going to start heading back down towards my office. So, the, the frustration, and again, this doesn't really affect me on this side because if people are coming from this side, they can still get to my business. Um, but what I need to point out to you from this side now is the, the frustrations of the people on the other side of the bridge of people finding for people coming to the, 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 the west. What I do notice, we've got a random diversion sign that's just appeared. Um, so, the, if, if people have, uh, have found us that they've got a diverted traffic sign, even though they've not been told the rest of the route how to get down onto this part of the, the main street. So here we go, my uh, office is just on the left here, just where that signage is. Now we've got road ahead closed. Again, that to me is, is misleading because the road isn't closed, the, the, the railway bridge is closed, and it should be road closed with diversion or railway bridge closed with diversion. Now all we've got here is footpath closed, again no indication for strangers that they can get pedestrian access. The, no diversion to say turn up here, um, up your whole road, and again pedestrians are confused as to whether they can get through the bridge. Okay, so we're now back on one of the um, supposed diversion routes, and again, as somebody who doesn't know the area, we're lost. There's no help, no reassurances that we're on a diversion route. So here we 
here we are, all the way up Newhall Road. Not one sign. It's more than halfway up, and we've not had any reassurances that we're on one of the, the routes. Getting to the top of uh, Muirhall Road. I'm looking for some reassurances that I'm going the right direction. Come to a major roundabout, and we have nothing. There's no signage here at all to tell us where to go. So, no area. I'm going to take the right direction. And we're now at the traffic chaos. Unfortunately, for the sake of this video, you are just going to have to sit and bear with me as we we sit in all this traffic, misplaced traffic. Unfortunately, this is my life at the moment because I live on the the west side of the bridge and my business is on the east side of the bridge. Um, so what's normally a, a one minute journey in the morning now turns into this um, as we go around the, the, the diversion route that has been put in place. Or hasn't been put in place as uh, I think I've possibly just shown here with the, um, this video. Okay, so so once again, what we're going to do here is we're going to go straight ahead because this is where it told us to go um, if you remember I pointed, pointed to the left for Larbert really what local businesses want to be doing is having people diverted back down the, the street here because that is how you get to Larbert Main Street but let's just follow the diversion sign anyway and follow the route that's been recommended so we're now turning to the left to go to Larbert sign wasn't there yesterday so at least it is now directing people back round in a back round in the loop. That sign we just passed here, Main Street Larbert closed at Rail Bridge. That's what I think we all want to see actually on Main Street Larbert rather than just road closed. I think we want it to be quite clear that the the bridge is closed just purely sorry the road's closed just purely at the, the bridge rather than the impression that we're getting from the main signs at the start of Main Street that Main Street is actually closed. These signs here, these we're coming this way, are actually fantastic. This is what we want to say on Main Street and the other side of the bridge. Um, just to highlight that you know Larbert Main Street is open, it's just it's closed at the railway bridge and there is a suitable diversion in place. 
So that's us coming back down now to uh, just past the hospital and we're coming back to where we started this video. So this is a this is the final part that I want to point out. This is a basically back where the um, the, the video started. Um, we've went round the diversion route that's been suggested from the, the Bells Dyke Road. Now remember, we're strangers, we don't know the area. I know that I need to turn left here, but we've been diverted down here. There's no signs to say to get into Labrador Main Street we turn here. I'm only doing it because I know the um, I know the area. So hopefully. You can see just by this, this quick drive around the, the area, local traders are getting incredibly frustrated because people coming from outside the area can't actually find us. There's no, there's been no thought given to the, the, the signage on the side of the road, or at least that's what we'll be seeing. Hopefully, you, you can see by the, the items that I pointed out in this video, why we feel that people are getting lost and can't find us. It is having a huge effect on uh, all of the businesses in the area and we would like to see it rectified as, as soon as possible. Um, one final thought, we're just coming back up to the, the, the railway bridge and I realise that there is issues um, with uh, the council in getting new signs put up. However, the, network, the, the, the bridge is closed here and there's plenty of um, it looks like green hoardings, BAM hoardings, that we feel that you know Network Rail could be doing their bit to advertise local businesses and let people know that we're, we're still here because there's nothing to say that we are here on the other side of the bridge. And similarly for the, the people on this side of the bridge from the the, the east side. Um, so we would like that to be considered as well. So um, hopefully you take on my, my points made in this video and uh, I'll look forward to hearing back from you as to your thoughts on um, what I've just shown. Thank you very much.